Hey everybody, welcome to the Swell Speed. So on this special After Dark episode, we go live with Ray Mathis. She is a friend of the podcast and we really cut up with her. Uh, for those of you who've been following us for quite some time, you know she's been on the show before and it is still one of our trending episodes. So you can find this episode live on YouTube or you can listen to the edited version right here where you find your podcast. Cheers. So have you guys seen on Showtime, there is this... Uh, documentary called Basketball County. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. it's what about, is it? It's about um, Prince George's County and how it is this breeding ground for basketball players. Yeah. I believe, yep. It was, it, I thought I was talking to a friend of mine. I, I thought they could have explored it a little bit more. Oh, it was definitely holes in those stories. Yeah, uh -huh. I think they could have explored it. But I remember um, with my stepson, just like spending so many weekends and nights in the gym. Mm. Um, just And when he talked about the traveling teams, like just being on the road and going to run and shoot. And they did capture that. That's just like a whole life of its own. Yeah, run and shoot was the spot, right? You know, back in the day, I mean, I knew mm -hmm. guys... And I, I mean, I'm not a native Washingtonian, but I've been here 20 years now. So mm -hmm. I've seen, I've seen that flip, you know, um, but run and shoot was, it, it was major, you know, back in early 2000s, you know, so it was a big thing. So I, I didn't, I mean, that, and then, you know, the Goodman games was the other place, you know, mm -hmm. I didn't, I didn't, I just, I just was able to go to that probably about, it's been about six or seven years ago when I went to my first one. And I was blown away. I mean, I would. I was so glad to be able to be there. But like, you know, just the talent, and then all the NBA players who would still show up during the games, and yeah, yeah. it was just so. It was. It was good. I. I. You know, it makes you proud to be able to be here to see that. You know what I'm saying? So I was mm -hmm. always glad to be able to be, you know, there for something like that. Yeah, it was. It. It did bring back a lot. I remember one time we were doing a fundraiser for the kids, and we were frying chicken in the back of a uh, running shoot. Mm. Um, <laughs> Damn. Like, so, mm. Yeah, because chicken, you can get yes, Lord. So chicken wings and um, fries. Yes, Jesus, that sounds right. Because you were there all, all damn day long. <laughs> and just smoking it out. Yes, Jesus. Smoking out the back of the gym. Hey, Tanisha. Hey, Tanisha. Tanisha. How I get the bogus account number? How I get the oh, how's everybody here but you? Listen, I clicked on the link from the email. Mm. I didn't pick it up. Okay. All right. We believe you. You here. Uh-uh. I don't like that tone you took with me. Oh. <laughs> well, Tanisha's always like a special guest and to be able to see her because she's all the you know she's thousands of miles away in Paris and a <laughs> girl Paris right and just loving life I hope you know Tanisha, Tanisha is who I'm trying to get to in like in a couple years I'm just just saying let me check out this is well okay no today today it was all that you ever dream of Today was a good day. <laughs> are you, are, have they freed you? Right, and you out. But you own, But you know what, Tanisha, you deserve every one of those days that you can absolutely capture. I'm gonna tell you that right now. I, that I believe. You know, so you. I want you to have one of those every single day from here on out, if you can. Thank you. Yes, I appreciate that. <laughs> Even if Sarita um keep me out of the chat, it's fine. She tried to oh my god. I'm <laughs> trying to keep you out. I'm trying to block you. No, just make up that number. I had like a, a whole okay. You know what? I'm here. <laughs> Sorry. Tanisha, hey, how has it been outside? It's been the sun's been out. People are out. People are out now and it's midnight. Mm. Uh, People are out sitting out on the river. Um, sitting by water, they sitting on the wow. steps uh, because apartments are small, and people are like, you know what? I want to be not in this apartment. Uh -huh. Are they social distancing with mask on, or are they like that? Girl, what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
they wear a mask when they absolutely have to wear a mask. Like if you're on public transportation, you have to wear a mask. Like if you're on a bus or train, you have to. If you go in a store, a lot of stores make you wear it. But right. just walking the street, when I tell you these people do not care. Uh uh. They sitting outside on the riverbanks, they do not care. No, they don't. Wow. I'm sure. <clears throat> wow. Wow. Well, yeah. Even in a mask, I'm like, I masks are uncomfortable. They are. Uh -huh. Especially when the weather is warm. They are. I don't like it. Not at all. Mm -hmm. I walked up three stairs, not three flights, three <laughs> steps. And was like, it's too much on my face. I don't I don't like it at all. Yeah. I ordered this mask that this um Howard alone was selling. Q's got Howard Girl on it. That thing is like having a fur coat on your damn face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> she make this shit out of love. <laughs> I was like, these people gonna think I got I have a wrong because I'm breathing so hard. I was like, this. I know. Yeah, so like, what's wrong? But my thing is, is the cloth. Unless it's like a um, I have like some like I have these um like scarves almost from the Gap that I had that are almost like a um handkerchief, and so I'll wrap I've wrapped those before. But the ones that are thicker masks that are made, I'm not, they make you, it's not, it doesn't work for me. The medical grade ones that are disposable, those seem to be fine because I can actually still breathe. Yeah, that, yeah. 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 But then I also feel like those don't work. I feel like if I can still breathe, I feel like, you know what, this probably is letting in the virus. So. Well, but you know what, though, it's interesting because I don't know. I mean, I guess I don't agree only because, you know, um, medical professionals have been using them. For, mm -hmm. So I'm saying if they're the medical grade, but we can't get them. Yeah. That's one thing. Yeah. But like, if you have a couple of them, because I have a couple here in the house um, that a friend of mine had gotten me that, you know, I feel like, yeah, I mean, medical professionals, where I'm, honestly, and I, I'm not saying that this is the truth. I'm just saying, though, that many of us, I think, have probably already been in contact anyway. And so mm -hmm. the question becomes, you know, like, I, and I'm not trying to, I'm not saying I want, I don't need any, I, I don't, I don't need it. I don't want it if I haven't, you know, had to deal with it, but you know, I don't know if you can do more than we're doing other than either stay home or yeah. really mask up and get outside and be protected. And then, you know, every time I go in a place, if I don't, even if I have gloves on and I don't have gloves on, regardless, you're like wiping your hands down and yeah, I try and make three or four stops every time I leave out just so, right. you know, it's, you know, it's productive if I've got to leave the house, then let me just go ahead and make all these stops real quick, you know? Well, I'm glad I make stops because it's like I'm outside. So, and I, yep. I got these gloves on and I'm using hand sanitizer on the gloves. Yep. Yep. <laughs> because you don't want to cross contaminate. So, right, right. So, I'll take them off when I get in the car sometimes and start with a new pair. But, you know, I agree. If once I'm out, I'm out. So let me hit as many places. The other thing mm -hmm. that for me is the problem, well, it's not really a problem, is that, you know, I'm still working from about seven to five, right? Mm -hmm. And so then you're, you know, I can't, I, I probably could dip out, but of course, as soon as I try to, if I try to dip out, they're going to IM me and call me and everything else. So whatever it is, it has to be a quick run. But if I'm out, then let me make the trip right. So at five o'clock, but you, I, then if I leave at five, I basically, I, I'm timing it. I've got three to four hours to get to everything. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, so, um, and then I stopped. I, I don't really like going out on the weekends either, like I used to, because everybody's out now. Yeah. Like, I'm right. like, I'm good. Let me try to hit these weeknight deals and call it a day, so. Yeah. Well. That is so very true. Coronavirus. Sorry. COVID nineteen. She should name it COVID twenty, so everybody can remember twenty twenty. Right. Uh, I don't think you can forget twenty. No, we're not no. going to forget this. You no. Mm -mm. We all going to be sitting here on another call in like twenty sixty. Y'all remember? We were quarantined. <laughs> I can see talk about something in 2060, then, yeah. I hope that's, so. Mm, that's for sure. I'm like, wait, I just did the math on that. Like, oh. I, I know exactly. Mm. Yeah, y'all might be without me. I don't know. I don't know. You, you're pretty tough. You still might. I, I was I was suspect you probably, you're all of give it, Right, give it, giving people hell. <laughs> and, and still, wait, and still looking just like you do with a little gray right. hair. Right. <laughs> right. No, you know I did put a little, I got a little thing of color some of this, because this right here, Gray hair is disrespectful. That's it all is. I want to say. It doesn't operate like the other hair. Like it the gray don't. hair be like, aha, 
I'm coily and I'm going to stick up and stick out. Yeah. I, would I don't care if you yeah. call it. Straight okay. hair is like, yeah. I don't need in the texture of your other hair. I'm mm -hmm. going to do what I Exactly. Mm -hmm. The rest of your hair is soft and smooth. I'm going to be and curly. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to have a tight coil. And you're not going to be able to put this down with gel. Because I'm, <laughs> that's what I do. That's right. I think I am not opposed to coloring my gray hair. <clears throat> and sometimes, I will use my mascara. To mm. hit them. Yeah. But I think there needs to be a discussion about color. Because I was watching Scotty Pippen. And I was like, <laughs> Scotty. Is this your example? Need, you can't use Scotty as an example. You don't need, what's that, Bijan Black? You just need, <laughs> like, dark. The Beijing. Color. The good Beijing. Yes. I don't know. Beijing. Sorry, I'm oh, sorry. Tanisha, why are you going sideways? So Tanisha was like, no, no, no. You can't tap out this early. We just getting started. In the company. I can't like, talk about it. No, I'm here. <laughs> that is there just funny. needs to be like, a, like color shades. Like there needs to be a consultation on you can't go jet black because you were never jet black and now you're older and your color is faded and it just looks dark yes mm. and too dark leave scotty alone scotty <laughs> did us well. oh that's what i get for talking about people <laughs> scotty is home. but the thing is i don't understand why he went like straight jet black there are consultants that can help you look very you natural because men who cannot grow beards now have beards that's right so that's right it can and, happen and you won't and you wouldn't know exactly. i mean you know I, it's it's wild, so you wouldn't even know. Yeah, it's a scary thing. As I previously stated, leave Scotty alone. Okay. Scotty. Sorry, Let him sorry. sorry oh, he ain't by himself. Oh, Scotty, okay. <laughs> if Uncle needs to go jet, Uncle got jet. Uncle got to go jet. Uh-uh-uh. All right. Ray, you want to introduce yourself for people who do not know you? Oh, we just jump right in. And to read yeah. it. <laughs> The whole situation. Okay. Yeah, the whole the, the whole shebang. Listen, I'm Reagan Mathis. I am ver at Vermilion Pearl on Twitter and Instagram. Um, a lot of you guys know me probably as maybe a writer or blogger previously. I am a photographer uh, sometimes uh, when I don't feel like talking or writing. So, um, or I just see a great picture I want to take. Um, and yeah, that's probably. I think those are the basics. And she got a book. <laughs> Book, girl. I do have a book. I do have a book. It is called The Tiny Book of Prayers. And I published it and actually I probably wrote I wrote it initially in 2014 Ooh. and then I put it up. Come closer, and, Tanisha, to yeah, your camera. The book closer. Nice. Oh, oh very you nice. Wait a minute, mean, you broke up. What'd you say, Tanisha? The book on my face. We couldn't do them no, both. No, what, whatever you said broke up, not, not the picture. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for showing it, Tanisha. Yeah. I um so it's a it's it's a prayer journal and it is um I think hundred and fifty five pages long, something like that. Mm -hmm. And so um yeah, it's hundred and fifty five and so it one fifty four actually, so as far as the count is concerned. But it um it's a journal and, you know, I wrote, there are parts where you're, I'm writing in there, but there's a lot of space and then just prayers over people, I would say. And yeah, so it's a collaborative effort by the time you guys get to it and you actually see it. So this is my copy. This is the actual first copy that came off the printer. So it's the, the copy I use as, uh, for my own self. Um, it's still got all the errors and everything else that I sent out in the proofs. So um, if you guys got a proof or an advanced copy, it has those errors as well. There were about 40 people who got those. That, and those are my close friends and family. We had a few people who had followed me over the years blogging, but I've kind of marked mine up and I'll show you guys later. Like gluing things in the book and adding things to the book and writing. And um, so yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it. It was, it was one of those things where, um, you know, I felt like, you know, it's funny, I tried to write so many other things and I tried to push out other work, right? And it just didn't happen. And it was basically like, I felt somewhere between 
God and the spirit just saying, like, listen, if you don't put this out, you can go ahead and try to put something else out, but we're not going to let you just, you, you, this is not going to work. Just put this out. Do what I asked you to do. Do what we said to do. And so I said, okay, fine. It seems dumb, which is why I held it for five years. <laughs> I'm being honest, right? As an artist, a lot of times you think this makes zero sense. Me, probably one of the biggest heathens I know, and happily, <laughs> I mean, happily proud of that, but I also own and am very proud of my relationship that I have with God and how, you know, as far as being a spiritual person. And so it was one of those things that I felt like when I picked it back up, as the years went by, I was like, hey, this is really, this works. And it was, I thought it was good. I could be wrong. Someone probably out there could think it's trash and it's possible and it's okay. But when I was picking it up and I was reading and I was like, did I write that? Where did that come from? How did I write this? Damn, I, this is good, actually. I was like, oh, shit, you know, this, is, this helped me today. Then I knew maybe I had something. So it was, I felt like it was a, a good time to share it. And it so happens that it is, I think, you know, right now with quarantine and corona. Yes. Now, um, so can people buy it? Yes. Yep, it's on my website, you know, and, you know, I'm at Untitled, my website is untitled1975.com, so it's available there for purchase. I'm almost sold out, so um, I probably have to order new books soon, but, um, yep, I'm almost sold out on a second run, so that's a good thing, um, I, but, yeah, wonderful. so I'm, I'm, th I'm thankful, though. I'm thankful. That is wonderful. So Thank I'm going to ask the questions that writers probably hate. Like, yeah. so what are you going to write next? You know, I, I ha it came to me one evening and it's not, pr I don't, it, I don't think it's a journal, but it's a book um, that, you know, is, and I don't really know how to describe it. At least what I think it is right now is about the things that come to us at night. Hmm. And because it's a very different set of thoughts and things and worries and desires and you know it, it's just different than how you feel in the morning mm -hmm. right or I know it is for me right you know when nightfall sets whether I'm on the balcony or if I'm out driving or if I'm home and so yeah so that was and I don't know I don't remember when it hit me maybe a few years ago but probably right after I finished this and was ready to like push it out it, it hit me that that was probably the next book I just don't I'll, I'll probably leave more I'll leave space in this book but if you wanted to write you could but it's probably um, not, it's not directly interactive, but I would assume that people would, you know, interact with it, mm. you know, so, but yeah, so I think that it was supposed to be out this month, but I just haven't been able to push through in the same way um, that I thought I would. So I'd assume that maybe later this year, I'm hope that's my goal. I don't know if that'll happen, but um, just depend. really, honestly, I hate to say it, but it depends on how I feel. Mm. that's just what it is right you know and if I get through and I think that it's large enough or there's enough content if I get to about 80 pages I'll be good mm. so nice yeah so I think or at least I think that's what it's about I could tell you but I also wanted to do a short story um so that could be the next thing but I don't know it may be something different by the time so I reserve the right to say that that's not the next book but you never know so we'll see love it yeah love it. To you. as you wish Yes. <laughs> Thank y'all. <laughs> Thank y'all. I'm wait. glad to be back on. Yes. We cannot wait. Can I just say that still, hands down, by a landslide, your episode this day. after dark is <laughs> still our most popular episode. Like, people are still listening to that shit. Like, which still. I know, which I, it's so wild to me. <laughs> which is crazy. <laughs> it is. And I'm like, me? I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> All right, bet. I mean, you know, I'm like, who else made me on this show? I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm available for the Today Show. You know what I'm saying? Do we need more? Do y'all need more? Do you What's up? Uh, right, everybody's uh, available for the Today. Let's all get no on the Today Show. Mm -hmm. Everybody's available. Everybody on the call is available for the Today Show right now. You know what I'm saying? So let's go. That's the goal. And the Tonight Show. And the Show. Mm -hmm. and the show and Say it, Tanisha. Say it, Tanisha. I'm just speaking it into existence. Listen, let me just go. There you go. Let's write it in my tiny book of prayers. There you go. Right. Netflix money. Get, let's get some Netflix money. <laughs> That's for sure. That? That's for sure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What's, everybody, uh, what's everybody drinking? So I've got a bottle of Sauvignon Blanc. It's Monique. Bottle of. Mm -hmm. So we know that's absolutely what Leslie does not have. Yes, guess what? Uh, guess what? <laughs> 
Let's not have that. And look, the bottle is almost empty, so she's you actually been drinking it. Uh -huh. Right. Yeah, I actually like this one. I don't really think it's Sauvignon Blanc. I think somebody was playing with me. There you go. There nice. you go. Wow. Wow. I also have a side. I also do have a side rosé, just so y'all know. So. Yay. <laughs> in case you finish that bottle before it's over. Oh, well, no. The side rosé was just the rosé I drink typically. It's like this rosé that I've been buying. It's a nice price point. I'll have to get the information for it, but I love that rosé. I love it so much. Yeah, we, we need to hear about the rosé. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's all, I love it. I like, I love, to, like, a heart it. Because everybody needs a house wine. Everybody needs yeah. a rosé. And that is, that, honestly, that, that is the house wine. I, do I have it on here? I one. Nope, I didn't bring it out. I'll get, I'll get it, but I'll get it to you guys. But yeah, I, it, it's the house rosé. I like it. Call, because like I know I can stand up. So if y'all need me to get some, I can't do it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm drinking a Justin Sauvignon Blanc, too. It's Sauvignon Blanc Day. Wow. Yeah. Oh, I, I missed the memo. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I like that label. Okay. Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, I, lo yes. I love Justin. Their red wines are... What is wrong with this light? Maybe this will help. Where is it from? Is it from California? Yeah, Central Coast of California. Nice. Oh, okay. Just oh, yeah. And they have did you have, did, did you have to order that or is it local? Like, can we buy it locally? Oh, definitely could buy it local at the Total Wine and More. I bought it at the, um, that's one of my stops. Uh, my yes. Audi. <laughs> yes. <laughs> my Audi every two weeks. Yes. And go to Total. And plus buy gas because it's cheaper out there. Yes. But, yeah, and that's, that's probably on block is only like fourteen ninety nine, fifteen ninety nine mm -hmm. a bottle. So um, <coughs> their reds are a little more because they make the isosceles. I don't know if you, I know, you all, all heard it. So Justin makes some really nice wine. And I like their brand and their business model too. Mm. Nice. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. okay. I've had better Sauvignon Blanc. I will say that because mm. I am a Sauvignon Blanc person. Uh, I like a big yeah. old green grassy. Uh, yeah. Okay. You know what's hard to find? Uh, so sweet. What? <laughs> oh, block. Oh yeah. Yes, oh, it block. is. Pinot Gris. Yes, the yeah. Sauvignon Blanc. The Pinot Noir. Um, total wine carries. I'm like pointing like it's up the street. <laughs> it is. Yeah. It's, it's, it's up the street. It's right over there. All right. Yeah. So hard to find, and I don't, I don't like that. I mm. wanna, Can you order it? Down. You know, I have to say, I shopping at Total Wine Dale is so civilized. I Can you yeah. go inside? Is it open? Yeah. Open? Oh, oh, okay. Yes. 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 And they got a system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they have, they have somebody at the door. Mm -hmm. They should be counting. Maybe they are counting or not, but they are very, like, six feet. Yep. Situation. Everybody in there has a mask. It's very, very civilized. And uh -huh. I like the cash, the cashiers, because I, I was having an issue going out buying. Like if I go to a local beer store or something like that, and I stop doing that, I just get a total of wine now. But touching my ID, like why you gotta touch it? Can you just uh, look yeah. at my ID? Total wine. They look at the ID. They don't touch anything. Mm -hmm. um, and. I, they really have a system down packed so yeah mm -hmm. yeah so does uh so does costco costco don't play around oh yeah i mean the dc costco does yeah they no, do that's what i'm saying but maryland yeah. does so yeah them crazy maryland folks oh, nope Good <laughs> what, are you, what are you drinking what are you drinking tanisha she said she was drinking oh, have a rosé <laughs> Nice. Oh, ooh, it's mm. pretty. Is it provincial? I know it's provincial. <laughs> it's actually not. It's a, mm. it's a, this from, it's like, not homemade, but it's one from the wine shop that I, and uh, it's actually one, it's okay. I do it with ice in it. And so mm. that makes it. Okay. Mm. So they make it yeah. at the wine shop that you go to? Yeah. Mm. Nice. That's really nice. Wait, so it's not white how wine much is with it? teaspoon of red, is it? No. Oh, and also it's cheap. It's like five euro. Ooh. A bottle? Yes. Ooh. Nice. Wow. Cheap. Wow. I was about to say my house, my house rose, my house rose ranges at Trader Joe's is six ninety nine. Now I really want to know what your rose is now. 
And then at um at at the Safeway, that joint be seven ninety nine, eight ninety nine, depending on which mm. Safeway you roll to. So it's available. It's available. Mm. Yeah, let me let me see if I can look. So yeah, it's great. I trade I'm drinking rose too. Um, and I'm drinking something I found at Costco called Hampton Water. Hampton Water. Um, I've seen that. It's yeah. uh, <laughs> um, my I'm joke. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna talk shit about it because they may be watching because I tweeted them before I started drinking it. So <laughs> no, but it's good. It's good. Uh, I'm lying. It's good. <laughs> it's good. It's from Languedoc. It it is Grenache, Sincera, Bedra, oh. and Syrah. Yes. Nice. Oh. Okay. But it's very American. That's why I was surprised if it was from France. But um, they they know how to get you because the label got me. I was like, hmm, yeah. Water. The label is American. I, was, I thought you were going to say New York. I thought you right, were right. Exactly. That's what I thought. Yeah. yeah. But it's and very it, good. When you said Hampton Water, I was going to say Virginia. What? Yeah. Oof, girl. Yeah, no. <laughs> I was going to say that's the got other, to be a muscadine or scuppernog. Yeah. The other hand is the other hand. <laughs> Yeah, it's that very like, uh, catchy. Yeah, and that wine's doing really well in the states. That way, yeah. and Hampton. I mean, can't I mean, once you put Hampton on anything, people feel like they're doing something. So of course, water. They can buy it. Like, you put Hampton water. Me included. Like, like ooh, what that tastes like? Name it yeah. better than. <laughs> like they win. They right. Win. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, and the um the cork is glass. It's a glass topper. Oh, nice. Oh, that's a nice, nice touch. A lot of Languedoc roses are doing that because the yeah, Gerard, Gerard Bertrand has a yeah same one. The yeah. roses glass. by Gerard yeah. Bertrand is a glass cork too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Their bottles are amazing. I actually. Oh yeah, yeah. I love because yeah. it has yeah. a rose in it. So yeah. like, very yeah. memorable. Yeah. Um. Does that make a difference to you when you're buying your wine? If it has a glass topper? Hmm. Well, the, the whole packaging, the, does that make a difference? Not to me. Mm -mm. No, because I'm usually looking for something fairly particular anyway. Mm -hmm. Or I know in the wine shop that I go to, whichever one it is, like I know who I'm talking to or, you know, the people who work there, the person right. who works there. And so I'm going on their recommendation. So the label has right. to look. Mm -hmm. uh, a label may catch my eye, but it doesn't Absolutely. necessarily dictate whether I'm going to buy it or not. Mm -hmm. Like the um, label Amon Ra, that label is because it has an eye of Ra on it. That every time I go past the bottle, I'm like, oh, that's why. $104? No, thank you. <laughs> Whoa. Right. All right. I, found, okay, I, I didn't want to run off the call, so I was looking for it. So it is that like VA for me. That's oh, the yeah. house rose. Oh yeah, that's yes. house rose. Yes. That's, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. That's a very that, good house rose. Yes, that is the is. house that that is the house rose here mm -hmm. at, at, at the Mathis household. So that you know <laughs> a case of that or and honestly this Monique Samian Blanc, it's like it's really good. I have to admit, it's probably one of my favorites and it's a trait. I'm a Trader Joe's wine stand, so I'm gonna go okay. through. There's a couple of them I don't like. There's one or two I hate, mm -hmm. um, but for the most part, they actually. I don't know who their wine buyer is, but they're doing a good job. Yeah, agreed. Especially at the price point. I mean, you can get a price a wine for four ninety nine. That's actually not bad for the four ninety nine, considering, right? right? Or you can get a you can get something that's up to twenty dollars, twenty two. I think the most I've seen is about twenty two, unless it's like one of the larger bottles. But they do a good job at it. So and they have a lot of rose. So during the season, like the spring, summer, Trader Joe's mm -hmm. is a great place to buy wine. They do. You know, another white wine I like is that Falangina. Woo, that thing is nice. It's this and it's at Costco right now. And I think that one, the price point is fourteen ninety nine. It's really good. I used to um serve that when I used to bartend and it was it was one of my favorites that I would um, I probably should have dusted off those bottles that I did, but I would after work. I, I just couldn't help it. You'd be like, oh, it's still half bottle. I'm going to dust this one off. <laughs> With that food I just stole out of the kitchen. Sorry. You know? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. We're going to do that. So me and one of my best friends, we would we would go in there and cook ourselves a meal and we would dr sit there at the bar and drink wine. It was a great time. So I'd be like, you know, so shout out to my former employer. Man, do y'all miss eating out and like the bar? 
Not as much yeah. as I should. That's not as much as I thought I would. I missed the socialization piece, but my mm. bank account is loving it. That's mm. for sure. I mean, that's, yeah. But I miss somebody else doing all the work. I want to just sit yeah. down, <laughs> bring food, take it away, wash the dishes, and I just get up and walk away. Mm. Yeah, just say, I would like this, this, and this. Yeah. And then it comes. And then when this goes away, like I eat it and then I get up and leave. Like, yeah. I miss that. Like, no one's bringing me food at my apartment. I mean, delivery, but like, that's pizza. That's different. Mm -hmm. I miss the variety. Oh, mm. sure. Yeah. I mean, you know, because sometimes you get into a rut cooking mm. at home. And especially yeah. if you're only cooking for yourself, then you have, you know, leftovers or what have you. But I miss like just opening up a menu and go, I'm going to have that. Mm -hmm. Not putting a whole lot of thought into. I, think I just missed certain spots. You know, there was certain food I could get there. And it's not, I, I cook a lot. And, you know, also probably want that because I like food a lot. I'm like chef style cooking, okay. right? So, and I'm happy about that. But there's just certain things like, but like Oyamel right now, there's mm. one soup that they have not brought back and I got beef right now with Jose Andres because he has not had that soup on the menu or whoever the chef is. And it's the black bean soup, just so you guys know. If if y'all can get me a just a little just a just a little container of it. I'm I can freeze it, I'm gonna be happy, ain't no beef no more. But otherwise, like Oyamel, but I found out they're doing carry out, so I'm gonna have to do that for my birthday next week. I'm just gonna have to go get one and happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank y'all. Happy birthday. So, yeah, so, um, yeah, so it's like certain things, but a lot of the restaurants that I like to go to, they're still doing carry out, right? So, mm -hmm. so I don't know, Tanisha, did they close everything down? Could you get a carry out or no? When they, when we were in full lockdown, for the mm -hmm. most part, yes. Okay. Um, everything down like places could have been open for its takeaway but they weren't because Paris just isn't set up for takeaway mm. um, like when you mm. dine in and you want to like oh I have a little food left can I have this to go and they're like no we don't no so like it's just not set up that way you also but, have to bring your own container jive and be like okay I'm gonna dump this in and just mm. go but they realize now that they need to pivot so during the time <laughs> we were just Eating, like when I ordered delivery, it was a uh, pizza, mm -hmm. or, like, Bob, which is fine, but like both of those are like terrible health wise. Like we can't mm -hmm. continue to eat those things. But now right. that we're out of lockdown and people are moving around freely, um, a lot of restaurants are have, um, open for takeaway. So Interesting. Really yeah. Huh. So I've eaten better. It's a, I found out it's a soul food, soul food. We, you know how I feel about the soul food. Here. Mm. Yeah. So, so it's African soul food. So it's their soul. Oh. And uh, <laughs> it's just, this just down the street. And it's, it's not, it's good. It's good. It used to be a food truck and now it's actually a restaurant. Okay. And but there was a, a certain spices on the roasted chicken and some um, fried plantains and some rice. Mm. I like so when they open back up as like an actual, you know, full on restaurant, I could eat in there. I would definitely love to go in there, eat in, mm -hmm. uh, have, have a rum drink, have a full proper meal. Right. It was really good. I was mm -hmm. very pleased. Yeah. Cause I, I just walked around cause I don't know this neighborhood that well because I just mm -hmm. moved. And then we went mm -hmm. in a, lot, like a little bit after that. Mm -hmm. And so now I'm just walking around like, oh, that looks good. Oh, that smells good. I should. Eat it. <laughs> Wait, are your markets still open? They are back open. Oh, okay. Nice. Back open. Well, that's good. Yes. Mm -hmm. So all fresh fruits and vegetables, because that grocery store stuff, it definitely, it definitely <gasps> tastes different. I don't think I would be that person. Excuse me. I'm a snob. I'm like, oh, this green pepper tastes different. Mm. I don't like. It. I don't like these tomatoes. Thank well, you. you've been you've been eating fresh for years. Like how many lit how many years have you lived in Paris now? It's almost it's five and a half. I mean, wow. when you eat fresh for that long, you can't go back to that. Wow. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Huh. So. Um, um, I I do miss restaurants. I definitely do. But um, I was listening to um, music the other day. And I don't know. It was some trash song like Lil Wayne or something. And I heard a bass, and I was like, oh. I miss being at the bar and hearing the bass in the background. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. 
at the bar. Again, I just want somebody else to see me. I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> I just want somebody else to do it. Okay. Mm. I'm, I'm over it. I'm over it. <laughs> yeah, that's the real thing. That's the real thing. To my sure. tape and then take it away. And everything no. is. Don't be disappointed. <laughs> like this yeah. whole expectation and then go and be like, I could have done this. At no. Home. Yeah. Like, I hate that. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, and it might happen when we go back out. Be like, man, I could have made this. I mean, yeah. I'm not gonna like three Especially my Especially you, Leslie, because you be cooking yeah. really. You know, three you and like she is yeah. about to Serena. open up a Exactly. When when is the Food Network gonna call you, Sarita? Because they need to. Right. I like, I like to eat. Listen, they got a gig over at the New York Times because they know so wait. Alice So wait, let me tell y'all. I'm, so I cook, I do, you know, I, I don't Instagram it a lot, but I cook a lot. And so, cause I don't plate well, but the food would be amazing over here. Again, hence the reason I'm fat. One of the reasons, but uh, um, can you stop calling yourself fat? It bothers yeah, I'm me. okay with it. No, I'm okay with it. But you know, cause I mean, what, there aren't too many skinny chefs that I would trust. So, um, <laughs> but there's only a few. So I'm not, I don't have an issue with it. And not to mention fat girls are in, they've always been in. So let's just say that. Also. Well, I'm going to have to place right. it after Rona. <laughs> right. So it's like, you know, I'm just going to embrace it. But, you know, um, they said, you know, what is it, Monique, who said never, never trust a skinny chef. So, you know, I'm not mad at it. I'm not. But Sarita, on one lovely Saturday morning, probably about four weeks ago, <laughs> was making fresh hash browns. Do you know my ass was up there shredding potatoes shortly thereafter? Because them things was killer. Yo, she had a rest. And then she had the nerve to like kind of show you each step. I was like, I didn't hadn't even thought about it. So yes, Sarita, you need to work on that because you did that. And then I think you had done, I can't remember. But you've been like rolling through and I've been like, like oh, that lamb shepherd's pie that you did yeah. recently on the grill. Bitch, I was mad at you. I was like, yo, you can't invite nobody over for like a, I mean, you doing, you doing, you doing like no contact pull up for a plate? What's up? Can exactly. I get exactly. Why don't you just, just wrap it in the foil and throw it at me? I'm good. <laughs> like, I be mad. I'm like, I can't even get them ingredients. Some stuff I'm like, I don't even know what that's called in this language. I don't even know where I'm mm. I don't know how this works. Y'all, I'd be so mad at Sarita, but I'd be looking at her breakfast, her her morning, her weekend breakfast stuff, and I'd be like, mm, wow, be hash browns. How many potatoes do I have? I'm about to shred these joints. <laughs> they going in the pan, they going in the pan today. Man, it's fun. You know, it's fun. It's fun for me. Um, Are you still using your sous vide? Huh? I have, do you, don't you have a sous vide? I don't have a sous vide. Mm -mm. Okay, I thought you had one. Okay, no. okay. Mm -mm. No, it's, a, it's on the toilet. It's on the toilet. I was going to say, yeah. not yet. Right, okay. <laughs> right. So wait, Sarita, do you have a favorite dish to cook? or and, do, and what's your, do you have a favorite like utensil or pot in the kitchen? Mm, yes, to all the it's Favorite dish, that's hard. Um... I can fuck up a roast chicken. Okay. I yeah, I make a really good roast chicken, which is not easy to make because mm -mm. it can be really dry or it can be underdone. So making yeah. that really nice mm -hmm. um, with the crispy skin that's important right. too. Um, let's see, I make really good roast chicken. I'm the greens person in my house. Okay, yep. yeah. So I make the greens. Okay. Uh, let's see, favorite cookware. Um. There is just this little dusty medium sized fry pan that we make <laughs> eggs out of. It's not it's not pretty at all. It's dusty. It's rusting on the outside, not the inside. Yes. It looks so bad that Alan wants to throw it away because he's no. all about the way things look. So I was like, it's oh no, that should have seasoned. That should have seasoned. No, it's seasoned. It's not going it's seasoned. Anywhere. Don't touch this pan. Yeah, You'll and never get an egg the and same way again. And it's right. non stick. So I was like, nah, mm -mm, don't test that. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. What's um, your so dream? Do you have a dream piece of cookware? Are you like, you know, I gotta have like I a big um, or anything or so? I don't have a standing mixer. Um, okay. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a baker. Mm. Um, I would like to learn how to do that. Mm -hmm. But um, I don't have a standing mixer. I feel like okay. I, would, I would, you know, I would It'll change your life. It will. It will. I bet. I, will. I see. I see that it will. It will. Yeah. But every time I see that price tag, it's like, 
I got a regular mixer. I can do the same thing. It's going to take a little effort. <laughs> it's not, it's, it's, like, not okay. it's not the same. I'm telling you, it's not. I, 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 okay. I realized that I actually didn't mind baking once I had my standing mixer. So I'm a great baker. I just don't always do it. And I mean, mm-hmm. you know, in the summer, if your air conditioner is not tight and you don't have enough ventilation, you can't be in there baking it like 400 degrees mm-hmm. or 375 for like hours. Sure. So, yeah. that, But then I also understand why bakers start at 2 a.m. I ain't got to turn the oven on when it's, cu- when it's hot. Oh, I didn't even right. think about that. Yeah. And you know what? You can get the attachments. Yes. So you can get a meat grinder yes. with it. You can exactly. Yeah. It'll it'll pasta. take. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this, this, meat all sounds, yeah. this all I've sounds very all. expensive. Yes, they are. I've seen them all. I'm not cooking no more. Like I've cooked enough <laughs> in my life during this quarantine. Yo. I'm coming to I don't think about cooking. I'm coming to Sarita, and now I'm coming to race. I don't oh. buy one. Yeah. Oh, Ray, you really... made some. Ray, what did you make? What was it? It was either curry or jerk. And uh, I was like, oh. It's like both. I was like, oh my. I just it's, had jerk. It's, it's yeah. both, Ashley, because I do, I do, a, I have to admit, I can't even lie. I do an unbelievable curry shrimp and then um, I do an unbelievable jerk chicken. And I said, because, and I got to tell you, I have, and I'm saying that because. I keep looking for a place to buy it from. And then like, if I talk to my dad or a good friend of mine, they'll be like, was it better? I'll be like, no, it wasn't better than mine. Then they'll be like, mm. oh, that's what it is. But my curry shrimp is, but you know, then again, I feel like once you get it down, because I had to learn with curry, the one, tr- one of the tricks is, is that if you go to a, cur- a place and you eat curry and it upsets your stomach, they didn't prepare it correctly. Mm. And that was what I learned years ago because they didn't cook it right. So once you learn how to fry curry, you're good. You're just like, good, I'm good. And then the rest of it is all technique and what you want. So, um, but that was just out of necessity. And I had a good friend of mine who was also a neighbor and taught me how to make jerk chicken the right way. Once that happened, I was good. Oh, and then I recently made something called provisions. I never knew what that was, but it's just Caribbean root vegetables. Mm. So they have all these like different versions of a yam or cocoa or like a potato. And you basically boil them and then toss them with like spice and green onions. Yo, listen, mm. with the curry, listen, y'all, listen. I'm, <laughs> so I'm learning, you know, so, and it's just, and then, you know, everybody knows Soka Mom, right? So mm-hmm. Eva, so oh. Eva recently, Soka Mom, right? Oh, yo Soka Mom, yo Soka Mom, right? She not my Soka Mom, she yo Soka Mom, right? But, um, there is, there is an account called Alicia's Pepper Pot that um, mm-hmm. that Eva has been posting on her Instagram. Yo, yo listen, like there are all these dishes that are on my list right now that I need to try to cook. Mm. It's ridiculous because I'm like Caribbean food, so a lot of times that's mm-hmm. like the that's like the goat. That's like a comfort food for me. A so lot of I'm times like, I don't even try because I can't get my hands on the same spices they use. It's, okay. And it's not going to taste the same. I want it to taste exactly right, how right. they mm-hmm. make it, you know? Yeah. So I was mad when Sweet Mango closed because I thought they were the best people to do jerk chicken hmm. here in the area. Um, and then also went to, you know, you have it in Jamaica and you're like, okay, it's very different here than it is in the U.S., right? Yeah. And so, but like my neighbor who had made it, he made it similar to sweet mango but i like my chicken really well done so that's a whole other thing oh okay and so i don't want mine like so I'm, i have certain things about it but so I, when i started to make it i would make it a certain way and then i sort of so i have mine made a certain way but yeah i mean i think it's difficult but also peaches that you introduced me to, to um oh, sarita yeah. you had told me about that they make a really they make good food too so mm-hmm. yeah so are is your curry um, red, green, or yellow curry? That you- this is a yellow curry. I haven't okay. gotten into the red and green because I'd like to do a green curry like Thai style. Yeah. But and I have the spice. In, actually, I have it in my cabinet, but I haven't. I need to explore it because I'm not really, I don't know if I'm ready to deal with it yet, right? Mm. I think sometimes you got to be ready to tackle it. So yeah. um, mm. you're like, okay, today's my day. I'm going to do a green curry. I think I might, I think I feel like a green curry with shrimp and with eggs for breakfast Ooh, breakfast to be girl. like killer. Ooh, well, see, you, killer. Are starting, you are starting stuff. I'm just saying, nice. good old breakfast, you know, so I, in a minute I'm about to open, I said, hey, if, if I get fired for quarantine, I'm going to open me a little, little hole in the wall. <laughs> yes. And cook, 
You know, and I'm gonna do one of them early. I'm gonna do a gas station restaurant. Skip it. Let's go. There you go. Mm -hmm. I already got, I got my bit. I, I need to write my business plan just in case. But you know, my grandmother was such a good cook, so I had a nice base for mm. cooking for people, right? And just mm -hmm. trying to. Um, but it was. I was fortunate because I had an ex many years ago, and he would stand in the kitchen and he would watch me, and it would just like unnerve me it would like kind of take me apart a little bit I, uh, but it taught me to be able to cook in front of people so now mm -hmm. if someone's talking to me or they're in the kitchen I can just go through and chop and wash and do and now so he really did me a service because now it doesn't I don't feel like I'm hiding or mm -hmm. that I can't like show people what I'm doing mm -hmm. but I need to learn how to plate because my plating skills are like trash they're trash but that should be good there's a show about like trash food that look like the food looks like it's trash but this shit is like killer and I, was, like, I don't plate well but that shit be like you be like yo you making that again you making it again and, like it's, 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 it's I don't YouTube. plate well just, just YouTube just just take take a couple hours over the weekend mm -hmm. watch YouTube mm -hmm. it's Next yeah, time you're on the Swirl Suite, you're going to be like, my plating skills are the bomb. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Food is right, plus the plating skills. But I need to get that recipe. I've been looking for a recipe for that Jose Andres black bean soup. Because I was like, I'm going to make it. I'm going to. I love I'm, black bean soup. Me too. And I'll be a yeah. taste because I love black bean soup. Yeah. You know, it was something that they were doing to that soup. I and I, I'm sorry, I almost said something that y'all would have to bleep out like the whole statement because it's just wrong. But. <laughs> Somebody is doing something to that soup in the back, and um, it was right, okay? So I don't know what's happening, and I don't know what's in it. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is what y'all get, right? Something is, something is happening with that soup, and I don't know what's in it, but I need to talk to somebody because I just want to cook it. But I was about to say something that was going to, like, blow the show out. So. I mean, if you, uh, you said it twice, so you might as well go ahead and say it. I can't say that. <laughs> Can I say it? Right. We, can, we, we can say that on the after call. You know, okay. it's like that's you fine. know, that's fine. You know, you know, I'm just saying. So you know, I could say it actually, but it's like someone with like I'm just saying. Have y'all ever met a really fine man? And he's fine. He smells good. He tastes good. It's like he just put his hand or something else in the pot, and that's what that black bean soup <laughs> Was is. Was that it? Girl, please. Well, I didn't say this. She just, she I said her. something. You know, it is nice she as she could say it. Uh -huh. okay. Well, good job. That's yeah. I, don't, I didn't want to say like it's like he's throwing this dick around in the pot, but it's you well, know like that. So you know, yeah. like wow, well, this is this just, soup is just made me smile. incredible. I'm saying this soup is. I'd be like, this soup is fucking incredible. It used to just make me so happy, and I'd be like, man. There are not too many other things that make me this happy, with the exception of like a really fine man. And like, you know, you just go down the list, right? You'd be and like, he's trying to dig around a black bean soup. Hey, right. Hey. right. Did you, what's your, y'all, you put your dick in this soup, didn't you? Did you? Before I heated up the, or you heated up by swirling around. <laughs> did you, did you swirl it around in the black beans before you even like really blended it? Because yeah. fucking soup. Mm. Woo, Jesus, that soup was right. I'm this is about to go downhill, especially when we get into these questions. <laughs> it's going downhill. Yeah. That's why y'all I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I mean, I, I'm just saying, you know. <laughs> we love it. We love it. Yeah. So we have a list of rapid questions. Some of yep. them you're going to answer fast. Uh -huh. and then you might need to think on it. You're going to answer questions hard. Go ahead. Not all of them are hard. They were hard. Hmm. Well, Thank you. I didn't think they were that Thank difficult. You. Okay. Thank you, all right. Yeah, they, they're hard. Yeah, because trash movie, I'm like, yo, I mean, does she want me to list my favorite, like, OnlyFans folks, or should I just be like... Oh, is that what we're doing? <laughs> I didn't know. I'm like, yo, I can list, I mean, oh, some OnlyFans accounts, or should I... I did not know I needed to just... specify... I mean, trash is something. I was like, I don't really know. I don't know where we are. We at that level, or are we at the other level? Are Wait, we the... I'm gonna need your OnlyFans account, like what, where, who you follow. But um... I do have a favorite right now. She's great. I mean, she has some good content. That's all I'm saying. So okay. whatever. Shout all out. Right. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, all right, girl. All okay. right, come on with it. Um, your favorite trash. Uh, what is your favorite like trashiest movie? Like hood. That was actually hard. I don't know because I didn't know where the level was on that. So what do you mean okay. by trashy? Do you mean like, like something that everybody hates or like? Yeah, like right. just you know it's not a great movie, but you watch it over and over again. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. 
Christmas. Like, I'll tell you mine. Mine is Shatters. Y'all know Shatters? Shatters? Yeah. 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 So, uh, who's in it? I feel like, yeah, it's great. So, I mean, but. It's a trashy movie. Yeah. But no, I could say. I could say Trading Places, but I feel like Trading Places is still a it's great movie. A trash movie. No, I was like, it's my favorite movie. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what my favorite track. That's that's the question. I really don't. I'm gonna have to come back to that one on another show because okay. I really don't have like an answer on that one. Because I was like, I feel like you would like Shadows. Can y'all see it? You just yeah. trying to. Your way to come back. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's filmed in Jamaica and Miami, I think. But it, yeah, reader, it's it's Shadows is on my list on like on like Amazon. So like mm-hmm. I be watching, you know, yeah, it's a great yeah. movie though. So I'm gonna yeah. have to watch it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't. I'm not sure though. I mean, that's why I was like, oh, I don't really know what she means by trash. I was like, oh, but you know, my it's, it's trash. It's like it was bad production, acting, whatever. Whatever. Whatever you feel well, is trash. From, from a production standpoint, I think, man, this is a old movie. It was Abby. It was a horror film. And it was mm. called Abby. Mm. <laughs> Trashy. <laughs> <laughs> And I don't know, it was just it was just bad acting. The makeup was bad. Now, from a now the Blackula, the makeup was horrible. Mm-hmm. The acting was good, but the <laughs> no. makeup, no. oh Jesus, flashy, but black. You know what? The other one. I gotta tell y'all, you know, I like Spook Who Sat by the Door. <laughs> that that filming was hilarious. And like you'd be like, yo, this is hilarious. But the theme of it's actually kind of good. But it is like low budget, right? Even though it's, but it's a classic in the community. So if you haven't seen it, I say Spook Who Sat by the Door. I don't know if that's my trashy movie. Those are my, that's what I was thinking. Those are my, the original one? New and old. Yes. Okay, I can see that. Oh, you know what? Valentine Holiday. Valentine Holiday, who's in that? Then (laughs) Rain, I learned about this over Christmas. Then Rain. Okay. Oh Lord. oh Lord. Oh yeah. I remember. I remember that movie. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You might yeah. say all black exploitation movies and that is it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next question. <laughs> to me, you gotta answer. Did you answer? I, I no, girl, pass. You pass? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next question, wet or dry wings? Wet. Depends dry. on the flavor. Dry. Depends, depends dry on the wings. flavor. Okay. Wet. I get that. Really? Dry. Wet. Mm-hmm. Dry. Okay. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. Wet. Okay. What compliment do you receive the most? So. It got so <laughs> So I hear no, it. Nobody, nobody tell us nothing. Nobody tell no, us anything. No, whatever. I mean, nobody said nothing. Men are for women. Nothing. Oh. So whatever. I, I usually, I usually hear two things. I hear you smell good and you have a nice ass. So those are like okay. the two. Other than, other than like if I want really great earrings or something like that. But those are the two usually. So uh huh. I think mine yeah, so. would be the, similar to yours, but my would be your skin because after they mm-hmm. yeah so skin and men ass of course because they, they don't see right 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 i also hear i also hear now like folks be like you have a nice smile i paid enough for it so y'all better like it shit if you don't <laughs> i do it's fine whatever right so teeth, yeah. Yeah. So, the- teeth right so that's the thing but yeah so those i think those mm-hmm. are the things those are the main things leslie what about you um, my skin and um and my smile. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tanisha. Um, I regularly hear that I am extremely intelligent. And <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, we need to laugh. So, Tanisha, give me the same list. I receive are those two. So. Wait, wait, oh wait, what was your second one? one? What was the uh, second one? I'm, 
I'm extremely hilarious. So write oh, that in your journals okay. tonight. Uh, are hilarious. Oh, oh, okay. I get that. Okay. Are hilarious. Yeah. So we're going with. Yeah. I also okay. th- I do think you're brilliant too, but I think you're missing some shit. <laughs> <laughs> He's, I know about me, but Serena asked like what people are saying. So <laughs> what they're saying. All right. <laughs> Serena, uh, uh, what if let's see? Say? Uh, I get compliments on my hair, whether it's looking uh-huh. like this or straight. Uh-huh. Um, and online, I get compliments about food. That's yes. pretty much all uh-huh. I post. But yeah. Um, oh, last thing I've told that I've been told that I have a nice palate. Um, I'm very good at pairing. So uh, yeah, you are. You are. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, true. So. Yeah. <laughs> Next question: What is your bedtime? Oh, that's easy. Ooh, it's literally it's just changed the time of- since. Since mm-hmm. you know COVID, yeah, mine has too. Mm-hmm. Is nine you said I nine mean, ten. Oh, nice. What swirl, sweet, is different. But... <laughs> <laughs> and we love you for it. Like, early is right. going to be like three. Mm. Wow. Right. Lately, okay. I've been going to bed around eleven or twelve. Which mm-hmm. before I was going to bed around nine or ten. Mm. I'm definitely. Do you work nine. early, Leslie? I do. Okay. I still, but I still like I, like clockwork will get up at five. Sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm up early. I'm usually like I'm nine. Usually around in bed by nine. I'm up four four thirty. Wow. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm a natural I prefer to be a night owl but it's funny mm. I'm, I'm probably around somewhere between 10 and 11 if I can help it and then on Fridays I turn up and go to bed at 9 p.m. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know what happens on Friday but I be trying to get in that bed so I be like yo I'm just I just want to get in the bed I don't know what it is about Friday um, but I want to get in the bed early Friday mm. Uh, for me, it's, definitely. yeah, um, definitely pre-COVID, it was like 9 or 10, but now it's like 11, 11.30. But yeah. if I hear a rain, if I hear raindrops mm. in the house, oh, that's that's a wrap. Like, whatever time it is, <laughs> yes! I'm getting in the bed because that's the I best know. fucking sleep yeah. ever. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I just turn everything off, lights, TV, and I go to oh, go to sleep to rain. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Love it. But somebody have just, somebody just posted on uh, Facebook, and it was an interesting question. Do you do you feel the rain, or do you just get wet? Mm. I feel the rain. I feel, I feel it. Feel the rain. Yeah. Exactly, because feeling yeah. it doesn't necessarily mean you're getting wet and you're mm-hmm. out. And you know, feeling is just what you said, Serena. Yeah. If you hear it and it just uh-huh. soothes your soul. Yeah. Yes. You know, it's an absolution for me. I love, I love the smell of rain. Mm-hmm. I, I, just, oh. I just love. It. Yeah, I love rain. So I realized it was a problem when I knew, like, so when I realized when someone told me the word was petrichor for the way it smells when mm. it rains, and you're like, you like it. But I'm like, yes, I can smell it coming. I, like, so those who know me, like, from the last like five or six years, and Tanisha will tell you. If it rains, I'd be outside taking photos or that's like my time that like I want to like I hate when I go to work and it's raining because I can't enjoy it fully. I want to be home yeah. or be able to be off per se, but I love the rain. I love it. Yeah. Me too. Same. Me too. Yay rain. Okay. Yay rain. All right. So next question. What is your pettiest fear? Like the smallest shit that you're like afraid of, but you're afraid of it. Snakes. Yeah, I told me that. Oh, snakes. Snakes. That ain't really pretty, but yeah. That's not. That's not too. That's not petty. Like, I don't know why I say Rick. that because I, when you hear uh, mine, you are gonna be like, "Oh, girl." Because people say to me, "Oh, it's only a garden snake. <laughs> oh, it, it's not poisonous. Nah. I don't give a shit. Mm-hmm. It's a nah. snake. <laughs> snake skin shoes. <laughs> snake skin pocketbooks. Snakes on TV. Rubber snakes." <laughs> Get your kid ass kicked for throwing a rubber snake. Patty or not, don't I don't play. Oh my god. Snakes in books? No. No. Snakes in books. I put it on my shoulder and it's 
Mm-hmm. Well, have fun by yourself. I don't want to go to Morocco because they got them shits in the middle street. No. Where am I yeah. going? They, they're they're open open up. Fucking cobra. Up. <laughs> it's snake, it's snake yeah. charmers. Are you talking about snake charmers? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Fucking uh, cobras in the middle of the street. Where I'm going? Where I'm going? Yeah. I was I was out there. I was out there in my twenties. I'd be one of those girls at the Greek in Philly with a snake around her neck. Like I don't know. It, it wasn't mine. It was just some dudes and yeah, it, it, yeah. It was yeah. So, so anyway, really. I'm with you. I've done I've done the yeah. I've done the exact same thing. So I ain't even mad at you. I mean, yeah. so like, you want to hold my snake? Sure. I mean, now don't take that for what it could mean. I mean, there's a bunch of <laughs> concepts. Now that. that snake I hold, but I ain't holding no damn dumb I'm just saying, I mean, I hold, I've held snakes and snakes. I mean, we're just. Right. Right. Yeah. I mean, right. And did but, he have some black bean soup with him? <laughs> right. He used that snake to study black bean soup. You know, so. There you go. There you go. Well, so, you know. Not that one you might. Petty right. fear. Mm. Petty fear. No. I don't think it's petty. Let me just start by saying that. People don't I cannot wow. I I really? pack it up. It's time to go. No. Mm-mm. What is it? Wasp. 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 Oh, like I yeah. can't oh, talking about petty fears. We're talking about tripping and chipping your teeth on the yeah, concrete. Yeah, that was, that's We're one talking of mine. about Having like um leprosy, uh, like we, we, like we're talking petty fears. Yeah, petty. Why? See, you, can't, you can't qualify somebody else's fear whether it's petty or not. That's the biggest <laughs> mistake people make. You can't say whether they think it's petty or not. It might be petty to you, but it might not be petty to somebody else. It might no, be petty, I, to you. petty is something that's like really simple. Like wasp is like that's a simple. A lot of people okay, snake skin a shoes and pocketbooks. Shay, a lot of people okay, have. the patty, the patty <laughs> tissue will be technical. Snake skin shoes or snake skin pocketbooks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My petty fear is wearing skin tone like, stockings. I don't understand. What wait, said. what? Skin tone stockings? <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> There you it's go. Just never match. It just never matches. <laughs> so. There we go. That's petty. Yes, thanks. There we go. That's my petty fear. Like, shit. Do I got some little stockings? And they just don't match. And you can't wear white and colored like they used to. No. Somebody recently don't you wear no like, colored stockings with no white dress and white shoes? Because I'm going to talk about you. Mm. That's ghetto. Oh, God. That ain't petty. That's ghetto. Where that? And I'm like, you don't have any girlfriends. Because nobody told you you're not supposed to be doing that. Oh, gosh. Ray, oh, what is yours? Petty. Your turn. You're awful. You know what my petty fear is? is? I keep thinking about the day that I end up on a stage or walking out on today's show and I fall and bust my ass. It ain't happening. Mm hmm. <laughs> So let me yeah. just wear. So basically, my ass will always be in a flat, open-toed shoe on camera because I ain't wearing no damn heels. If I do, I'm about to switch when I get to the couch because otherwise, no. Yeah, it's it's busting my ass in public, really. And I do that. I've done that from time to time, like actually in the street. That's different because you know it may be a front. I mean, I had. I mean, I, I remember I was at the sundown parade for the marines and i remember i bust my ass there and all these marines came to help me and i was like i should have fell earlier i mean like <laughs> i mean <laughs> damsel in distress i mean i mean if you're gonna fall fall in the right place and that was the right place within the marine yeah. barracks that day because mm. i had men and women i was like yes i mean everybody here cool but Yo, them brothers be tight, you know what I'm saying? You know, so I was like, oh, I'm, you know, are you okay, ma'am? No, I'm hurt. Well, we're going to help you, sure. <laughs> yes, I'm a little hurt. Thank you so much. I, y'all, I wouldn't hurt worse shit, but these niggas was fine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was, whoa, Jesus Thanks. Lord. So anyway, um, yeah, it, it's really busting my ass on stage walking out. That's like the petty fear, and that's always the that Oprah move, right, where you just be walking and next thing you know, you down, you be like, man down. I'm going to lay on that stage and talk like with the microphone from it, though. Oh, I'm gonna right. just, and everybody's going to clap for you. 
That's why I'm gonna lay there and talk on the microphone. I'm gonna just be like, so somebody bring me a microphone because I'm gonna lay here for the whole show. <laughs> and just you gonna make it a comedy show by that point. Because I mean, I gotta laugh. If I'm not really hurt, I'm like, I'm just gonna lay here for a second. That's the fear. That's one of my fears. That and being on like an important date where you like have to cook and you fuck up dinner. Other than that, then okay. Like where you just like burn the dinner, like it's just done. And I mean, I cook pretty well, but every now and again, I think everybody who cooks well or cooks often you eventually fuck dinner up. Oh, sure, yeah. Because I know I fuck some dinners up, and I'd be like, yeah, so, um, babe, that that dinner is not it's not salvageable. We're gonna have to eat out, or I'm gonna just gonna put those. I'm gonna I'm gonna put this other. I'm gonna put these um pre breaded like you know fish sticks in because yeah, that didn't yeah that didn't work out. <laughs> It didn't work out. What I was trying didn't work out. So I usually try to start, like if it was like something really important, I would start early. And, or I'll cook it ahead of time, ahead of yeah. them. You know, if I'm trying to like be real fancy and impress mm-hmm. and do all some other stuff, I try not to experiment, you know, on a on something where you'd be like, I think my future might be writing on this dinner tonight. <laughs> <laughs> That's comedy. Tanisha, what about you? Um, mine goes along with Ray's, but not like falling, but I have a ridiculous fear of like busting out of my clothes or like ripping something oh, when I'm oh. Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh. And so yeah. every time I've had to speak on stage, my clothes are either stretchy or bigger than they should be. Wow. Because oh, okay. be like deathly afraid of that. No. Uh-huh. It would be a different mm-hmm. show. You just be busting out and be like, hey, y'all. No. Yeah. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, like, immediately you come out all the bad. bathroom and your, oh. whip, or your, your skirt is tucked in your underwear. Yeah. I always bad. feel like you, like you don't feel like a cool breeze. Like it doesn't. No, you, you don't. It's happened. No, you yeah. don't. Mm-hmm. Nope. Nope. Yeah. Um, so I have several, but uh, <laughs> I'll give you my, no- I, I'll give you my number Top one. Five. Top five, please. Because, give um. Three. This oh, top this top. question this question originated from me posting on um, Instagram. And there's this little game you can play um, uh-huh. questions. So they asked what your one of your biggest fears, and I was like, oh, falling down metro steps and falling on my teeth. Yeah. Oh. So mm. yeah, oh. all this go. You know, yeah. busted up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one of my biggest yeah, fears. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I do not run for trains. No. Nope. Um, at all. Um, but one of my other ones is. The Soul Train line. I will not do it. I will not fucking do the Soul Train line. I won't do it. I'm going to stand on the side. I dance. But I'm not right. about to walk through. Why is Tanisha down? Tanisha is down. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Um, so, yeah. And a, a close oh second. It's true. It's true. You won't see me do it ever. I'm never the girl in the middle. You know how people circle around you when you dance and stuff. And that's never me. I'm always on the side. I'm dancing, but I'm not about to be that girl. Um, also, um, a close second is being sung the happy birthday song to. Hate it. I oh do. yeah. I can't. I do. It's especially <laughs> like okay. So like I'm turning 40 uh, in October and I had this like birthday like situation in my head pre-COVID and I was like, yeah, how can I avoid the birthday song? Can I avoid that? How can we work around that? But we can't. Everybody going to be free by October, sis. I don't know. (laughs) Uh, Well, will I have a big party is the question. I don't know. So, but yeah, so those those two. Yeah. So, you know. Yeah. Those are my two. I okay. thought of another one while you were talking. Go ahead. And not making it to the bathroom when I got pee. As I get <gasps> over with. Oh, Yo. That's, yeah, that's scary. Yo, it's that's real. Scary. Yeah, that's scary. Yeah. So, Sarita, I'm pretty, I'm, 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 I'm on this birthday. So, Sarita, on this birthday, I'm, I'm going to be like at that, that midway mark to 50. So, I'm right there. Right. I'm right. I'm right I'll be like, oh. And let me tell you how real that is, where you be like, yo, so I held it way too long. I shouldn't have held it that long. Yep. Exactly. There, and, and there's about to be a problem. I shouldn't exactly. have held it that I know better. I shouldn't even do that. I don't even know why I did that. Exactly. Especially if you like, oh, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and get in the car and go home. If you've been hanging out, you're like, 
Yeah. Then I should have went to the bathroom before I left. Then you drive. Yeah. Like, oh hell, come on now. Yeah. <laughs> you know, life better not catch me. Nope. But then the other problem is, is that you, I be all right until I get to the door. You be running for that joint. Wait, hold on. I, I ain't even going to lie. And I'm saying all the sisters who are like 50 plus, if they have this, you know, so I don't unbutton my pants in the car with the shirt yeah, down because I know I'm like, yo, when I hit that door, it's about to be on. Like, I, exactly. it's going to be a problem. Exactly. It's going to be a problem. So that's how I know I'm aging, but I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. I'm blessed. I'm think, I feel like that's a that's a good thing, but you ain't you ain't never lied on that one. That's real. <laughs> <laughs> no, and, and wait, and, wait, and I'm and I'm a drinker. No, that's exactly. it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, it it water or water or wine. Either it they just don't work out for you when you really have to pee. Sure. Beer is mine. Okay. Ooh, Ooh beer. You'd be like, okay, Lord. I try not to, so I try not to break the seal because once I break the seal, it's often right, right, <laughs> often, right. You do. I mean, and, and then that's the thing. You be holding it, and you're right. They always tell you don't break the seal, and you done messed up and broke the seal, and you be like, I ain't even gonna make it home from Eighth Street. Oh Jesus Christ! Oh, here we go. <laughs> exactly. Look, ooh, is that a dark alley or not? Oh, well, no. I was just about to say, I'm about, I'm, about to, I'm about to go back to when I was like 28. I'm like, I'm about to pee in this alley real quick. I'm, I don't want to tell you, but I gotta go. So. <laughs> okay. Next question. What is your least favorite beverage? Milk. And it can be. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. And it can be alcoholic or non-alcoholic. It doesn't matter. Mm. Oh, I hate. Fruit punch. I hate it. Fruit punch for real. It's so sweet and syrupy. It's just yeah. Oh. <laughs> I just started laughing immediately because she was just so. I hate. I hate it. <laughs> I mean, it just that it came out in just the I hate that. Mm-hmm. Just that passion. Just that. Yeah, she meant it. Mm-hmm. She calls oh. fact fruit punch. Fruit punch. I hate it. Okay. Brave, what about you? Believe it or not, and I'm sorry. So first, I got to shout out to Silka Mom. She's been watching us live. So um, hey, hey, yeah, hey. so Eva, Eva hey, has hey. been here by default. So I got to shout out my girl Silka Mom. But um, you know, I, I keep trying to love it and I t- taste it every year, but it's beer, believe it or not. I want to love beer. Girl, I want to love, love beer. We I, are I, sisters, I one in the same. I try, I try every year. I try consistently. Hmm. I mean, but don't get me wrong. I mean, if it was a fine man and it was a hot day and he handed me a cold beer, guess guess who's drinking that thing? I'm going to drink it and then I'm going to tell him later I hate it. But I'm just saying, I, I there are some exceptions. Huh? I'm, I'm never going to hate it. I'm going to suck it up. I'm going right, like, to just be like, but- oh, I'm gonna be like, oh, you are tall, dark, and handsome. I'm gonna drink the beer, right? I'm gonna drink that beer, and I'm gonna suck. I'm gonna take one for the team, and then I'm gonna just, you know, like move towards where I need to be. But I don't. And I really want to like it because it's one of those things that is always available. You know, you can always get beer. It's readily available. It's cheap. It's cheap, and I. And I want to love it. The only thing I've liked is like the Lambic beers, like that are like the raspberry and the um, mm. peach. And those, those are lovely, I think, because they're like a thicker champagne almost to me. But otherwise, I'm like, I don't want it. Now, here's the trick. I can choose beer for people when I know what they like because I understand the flavors and the notes and the hops and other things. I just don't like, I don't enjoy the taste of it. And I, I would have thought I did, but I don't. What about like with, certain foods Mm. no i've never when i tell you i've never in college i wasn't a beer drinker i mean like i'm a margarita i'll make margaritas i'll drink wine there's rarely a wine i don't like i don't i'm not a i'm not a um i got one for you Mm. i'm not a wine i'm not a big red wine fan but i do love red wine like in the sense of like pinot noir um and um um petite syrah those are my faves as far as the red is concerned but the beer, I've been trying to like it, and I just don't, I don't hate them, but I don't, like, that's not my go-to, right? So that's not my first thing I'm going to say, hey, I've got to get this, um, I've got to get this 
red wine. I'm sorry, I got to get this beer specifically, and that's what I want to drink. But I would love to because it just makes so much sense. It's so economical. And I'm like, I want to like beer so bad, and I don't. Mm. But, I, but I will say this. But on the opposite side, I love coffee. So when people tell me they don't drink coffee, I kind of look at them like, wait, what? Same. How do you full, live? full judgment if you don't drink coffee. I, I really am usually like, you don't drink coffee. Like, wait, who? I, I'm judging. I, I actually, I'd be like, so especially if you're black, blue collar, or grew up relatively <laughs> like regular, and I'd be like. You know, if you're an adult, like, what? That's what I'm saying. Say if you're an adult. <laughs> Are you an adult? Yeah, like. Yeah. I mean, I don't care how much cream and sugar you need with that joint, but I'm saying you don't. How you don't drink co- no mm-hmm. coffee? Okay, you're not in my crew. You're not. You're. you're wait, you're not on the list, so mm-hmm. you can go. You're not yeah. on the list. Tanisha, what about you? Oh, I said milk. I'm not. Oh, oh, you said milk. Oh, okay. Um, did Glenna say hers? Mine is milk, whole milk. Oh, I milk. Can, okay. I could drink uh-huh. skim milk, but whole milk, I can't get it down. Uh-huh. Gotcha. Uh-huh. Can't, gotcha. Can't get it down. Uh-huh. And anything uh-huh. licorice. So like yeah. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Oh no. That's, that's terrible. Yeah. Right. Can't do that either. Um, I actually feel the same as um Ray, but I did not name <laughs> beer. Um, yeah, oh yeah. I feel the everybody here I knows know I how I feel the same way about beer. Exact same okay. way. And because Alan loves beer, one time I got I don't know. I got him. What is that? Um, it's a brewery in Baltimore or something. So I got us this deal where we go on the brewery tour and uh-huh. spend a night there and include a room, all this stuff. So I invited an, another couple. So it was a whole weekend of beer. I thought I was going to kill myself. I was like, this is <laughs> awful. This is terrible. And we stopped at a we stopped at a winery on the way home. I was like, oh god, thank god. I was like, I, I don't like beer at all. <laughs> at all um, but my answer is my answer is Chambourgeon I do it's it's a wine I and it's made yeah. a lot in 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 this area in Maryland and Virginia oh. Just, oh, oh my god the last judging that me and Leslie did it was a whole flight of Chambourgeon I was like oh my oh my god <laughs> how am I gonna pretend like I like this wine it's awful it's awful it's not my favorite wine I just yeah I don't yeah. like it at all. So they're, they're work. They were working on that, but mm, it's 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 tough. There are luckily there are other things that shine in that state. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. It's tough. They still make a lot of it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's a great one. Oof. All right. Next question. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> we only got like four more, so we're good. Um, four more. What time is it? <laughs> oh. Are you organized or do you no. pay attention to details? No. <laughs> you neither. No to both. <laughs> How I function in society is beyond me, but no and no. Next, uh, next. I'm detail oriented. <laughs> I, I, think, I think I'm detail oriented when it comes to my personal life. Honestly, my, my professional life, I'd be like, you know, it is what it is. Y'all got it. You know, I, I, I'll i be organized and there, like, or I'll organize those people's stuff, the people them stuff, but it's whatever. But really, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm detail-oriented when it comes to the people I care about mm. in the sense of I'll remember certain things. You, I, I'm good with, like, knowing what you like, what you don't like. I'll figure it out and can probably project things. And then also, if you're lying, I can probably figure that out too. So that's, um, yeah, the, my detail orientation. But I will say it also lends into, um, like, if you've got those five random things in the refrigerator and you need to make a meal, <laughs> <laughs> I can make this thing happen. Be like, I got pasta, I got milk, I got. I got some random ass vegetable and I got some spice and I got like shrimp. I bet I got it. No problem. I'm about to make some. I'm about to make you a good meal. Let's go. Okay. All right, Leslie. What about you? I am organized. I used to think I was um, detail oriented, and then I was like, yeah, I would have caught that if I was. So I. 
I, I I think I'm more of the bigger picture and some fine stuff here, but I am organized. Hmm. Okay. What about you, Glenn? Attention to detail. I, I I'm detail or <laughs> detail oriented because I have to be for my job, so it just goes over into my natural um, persona. But I'm getting. <laughs> The older I get, the less organized because I don't give a shit. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Okay. Um, I'm definitely, I'm say I'm definitely I'm organized, mm. but I, I do not I pay attention to details. Mm. Uh, but I'm creative, so I can tell you the details of my creativity. Right. But mm. as mm. like me writing all of that shit down, I probably won't be able to do. Like I'd rather <laughs> talk and somebody else write. And then, mm -hmm. you know, somebody else follow me and do everything that I say, that kind of thing. So, yeah. I like that. <laughs> Which means yeah. you're supposed to be wealthy, Serena. So go ahead and get wealthy, Serena. I know, Serena. bitch. I'm, God, I'm God, tell me how to get there. <laughs> oh, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, speaking, I'm speaking it over you. I'm going to speak it over you now with the prayer book. And go ahead and get wealthy, it. sis. I'm receiving yes, it. Ma'am. Let's go. All of, actually, can, can we all be wealthy? Can we all be wealthy? Then yeah. we're going to pray over this. So, yeah. yeah. Let's yeah. all be wealthy. We all need that bank account, that, that hit on that bank. <laughs> like, yes. Yeah. Today's show, like I said, we're all available. <laughs> yeah. But okay. we're available as we're available as a set, right? So you have together. to have us all on. All together. Correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're the yeah, we have to we're available as a set. So today's show, so shout out to all the today's show folks. All okay, of them. Next Hold question. <laughs> Somebody. The next question. <clears throat> if you became a billionaire. What would be your first frivolous purchase? Mm. Ray, you clearly got an answer. Go, go. What's your answer? I think my answer is like a house in Jamaica. Ooh. Okay. It's a house in Jamaica. So I can be like, so, you know, I'd be like, I can fly y'all out. We about to do some stuff in Jamaica. Like, we, we about to do this and, you know, just put people up. I think that's my, like... I think that's one of my love languages is feeding people and like letting them have a good time. But I think I would really feel like a really big person to be able to know, you know, you got like five or 10 of your closest friends or people that you really love and they're sleeping in your house and safe, but y'all are all in Jamaica and you can get up in the morning, have dinner, have breakfast, have all this other stuff, but it's all taken care of. It would probably be like the the frivolous purchase, but that it's like a respite for people at the same time, you know, including myself. So that's the big thing. Other than like some random ass Louis Vuitton set that I really want and I don't have currently. So. I like it. Who's next? I would hire me a driver. <gasps> Amen. You took my answer. Damn it. <laughs> he, he, he can drive my bucket. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I would have a driver. Driver is good. What is my backup answer? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> you can still have that one. Hmm. Uh, Tanisha Glennis. Uh, oh. I want a pilot, meaning private jet. Like, I want oh, that. Yes, ma'am. Okay. All I right. Just go. I'm ready. My mine would be a cobalt blue, not cobalt blue, a dark navy blue drop top Rolls Royce. Oh, mm. no, it's yes. a Bentley. It's a Bentley. It's the mm. drop top. It's this gorgeous blue. The, the Bentley is just, and it's a two door. It's just, uh. Mm. The Bentleys, are those the ones, wait, who, which car, which car is it with the stars on the roof? Is that the Bentley or the Rolls? Because they like the ones with like the the stars on. They like when the top the comes Rolls. up, or what, if you have a, like a heart. Uh huh. I think it's maybe you may. I think you're right. They maybe the Rolls. I don't know. So I think I, I gotta look that up. Cause I, I really want that car. Yep. Um. So my original answer was if my original answer was a weekend driver. Um. Because mm. I don't mind driving during the week, driving to work, whatever. But uh, I feel like the weekend. <laughs> you know get whatever car i own and just drive me and an island and and friends wherever 
However, yes. that was taken. So I'm going to go with a small yacht. Not, not a big yes. yacht. Not, not a big yacht. Oh, what's that one? You a big man with a B. I love, I love yeah. water. Um, but Alan gets seasick. So it needs to be big mm. enough so he can't feel the waves. But, um, you know, it ain't got to be super big. So I'm going to go with a yacht. Yeah. But I, I, I love the fact that all of that ties into the fact that if you have a yacht, you can get to Jamaica. Tanisha can get to there Jamaica. Yeah. We can put Glennis's, wait, we can put oh. Glennis's rolls on the plane to go to Jamaica. <laughs> I mean, whatever we need to do, where's the Bentley? I'm sorry, Glennis. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we all, we all land in the house. Let's just land and in the house. Driver, he will drive us around Jamaica. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Just fly him with us as long as he can drive one at drive us around. Yes. As long as he can drive one at right side. Because I said I, I like I got there and you know they were driving on the right side with that left and right turn. I was like, yeah, so I'm not even trying to get a license here. I'm not trying to do that. So y'all just drive you're right, yes. So everybody can and so yes, Leslie, I, I we need him so we can just all get what we need to do. Yeah. I, I'm with it. I feel like our plan works well. Today's yeah. show. Today's show make that happen. This is a reality <laughs> show. In these, here we are. Okay, next question. Um, I'm going to skip one. That doesn't matter. Um, okay. Chocolate or caramel? Oh, hmm. Caramel. Caramel. Chocolate. Like I like my man. Chocolate. Mm. Okay. Caramel. Really? Oh, I'm chocolate. chocolate all day. <laughs> chocolate. Chocolate. <laughs> okay. I'm going to skip another question and we're going to end with this question because it's slightly heavy. What would your last ex say about you? Oh. That I'm a flirt. Or AX. That you're a flirt. <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm a and social that, person. Yeah, my name is oh. Mom, sir. Because I'm a social person, he automatically assumed I was flirting with everybody. I was like, something wrong mm. with you, bye, boy. Okay. Uh -huh. mm. All right. Leslie, you got something? Um, I think he would say that I was generous in nature. Mm. Had a generous heart. That's really nice. This is you my last say, ex. He, this is he, not my ex-husband. Uh, my ex-husband <laughs> <laughs> oh, that Ooh. Negro would have a lot to say. <laughs> oh. Ray, what's your answer? I would say they would probably say rare. Um, because oh. that's usually yeah. the thing that oh. happens. They always, you know, it's like the I haven't met anyone like you and like Leslie, I'm I'm I have to admit I'm extremely giving and generous. And so a lot of times that happens to come back. So it'd probably be somewhere between rare and generous, you know, so Tanisha, what about you? Oh, I don't want him to say nothing. Like I want him to just keep his mouth shut. Like <laughs> Like, don't say nothing about me. Like, I don't care, good or bad. <laughs> like, just, you know, mm. we there with it. Like, just, just, just go away. Like you never, just, yeah. So, you really not going to give an answer? No, that's legit my answer. She gave it. She gave it. Say nothing and like really thinking like what can you say like you gotta say like I literally was the best thing that you messed up like say that uh -huh. but, like don't uh -huh. okay uh -huh. um I think um I don't have that many exes uh, before I got married but uh I, I, wasn't really, I wasn't really like a relationship girl that's a whole another um podcast but um <laughs> I think that um, like I literally can't roll my eyes any harder. Like I can't. I try. I, it's not. <laughs> this is Rita, truth. It's the truth. Please um, proceed. He, he probably would say, "Use your words." Um, I'm not very. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not very verbal. Um, it took me a very long. But you time. Lost wine. Oh, that's. I'm talking shit and talking about wine. That's different than. I, 
uh, girl, confessing don't. my feelings uh-huh. or talking about things that bother me or having difficult conversations. Uh-huh. That's totally uh-huh. different. Uh-huh. So, um, mm-hmm. I think, yeah, I think that he would say those words. So, um, because I would react and not talk about it and just like hold I mean, honestly, head. honestly, if I'm honestly, let's be real, let's be real, Serena. Niggas don't, niggas don't respond unless you react. Sure. Let's, yeah. Uh, they don't, they only respond when you, uh, so I gotta react and you, and then you gotta be like, you gotta give the meme, like, we were doing good. We've been doing good the last couple of weeks. Right? I, gotta, I gotta react, I gotta show out. <laughs> I gotta give you like the full. I gotta. I, I gotta give you the razzle dazzle in order for you to listen. To what I'm <laughs> they don't get it unless you're on the razzle dazzle level, right? So sure. like maybe like I'm, a, I'm at razzle dazzle. I'm, I'm gonna give you the razzle dazzle because you need me to show out. So okay, mm-hmm. great, no problem. You don't hear me unless. <laughs> no problem. I got you. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. Because I mean, yeah. I like I try not to throw things, but I throw things, and so I just be like, "Yo, so you don't like the razzle? Da- so you need the razzle dazzle? <laughs> I need to like get like that? Like, okay, well, I be like, I'm not trying to throw things. I'm not trying to like break up stuff. I'm not trying to like hold the boombox outside your house, like you know, like yeah, you know, like the meme, like I'm gonna hold the song outside your house. I, I don't don't make me do this. Don't make me act up. Don't make me act up because I'm right. up, and I'm okay. And, and here's the problem: when you get a sister, because like so, me, Eva, and one of my other best friends, there's a whole thing about like one of my exes. I will dress up. I'm fine with going to jail for this this display that I'm about to show, <laughs> just because just out wow. of just general, just. Let's just start a fund. I'm going to jail probably after this, but we're going to block this street <laughs> off and do this thing, and I'm going to have a good day today. So, yeah, don't, but they don't understand. So, you don't have to use your words. You, I think you're right. Just just show out. They don't understand unless, they don't listen. They don't listen. They don't listen. When has a man listened? Very few. Russell Wilson, maybe. Maybe. Maybe Russell listens. He's like one of the only ones I know. Maybe Prince Harry listens. Maybe Obama <laughs> listens. Those are the three I'm aware of. Of everybody else is like, I have to show out. Ray, let I'm me show- tell you, when I was getting my divorce, I used to pray that nothing would happen to that Negro because I was going to go to jail. I was like, I would be suspect number one. So, <laughs> please don't let nothing happen to that Negro. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. I love you. Oh my I'm like, God. I'm about to get blamed for all this shit. I ain't doing nothing. I was sitting in bed at home. But <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh my God. They don't understand unless you show out. So I don't I don't I don't think you need to use words. Serena, I, I'm just gonna tell you revert you don't need to use words. They don't understand words. When you talk, they don't listen. <laughs> the words are unimportant. And movement, and neck gestures. Like, all they respond to right I mean, like wait like burning cars and you know like so my ex has these really so one of my exes has these really great trees at his house trees and trees and um he loves them and you know i'm working in construction and so it was just like you know oh, can y'all no. go pick up can y'all pick up his trees for me can y'all just take the landscaper and just oh, go dig them up for me and I don't want to hurt the tree. I want y'all to bag it. And like, as soon as I buy a house, as soon as I buy a house, because revenge is served cold, I'm going to pick those trees up one day, just because I had a principal. And have them replanted on my land and say, you know, if you want to come see him, you can come see him. Sorry, you did, you actually, did you actually do this? No, but oh, okay. it was, it was a, consi- right. it, but it was I a was great just, I just need to know what to cut out this episode <laughs> so you don't go to jail for real. No, 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 but, <laughs> no, 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 but, no, no, but it was like, well, we can pick the trees up <laughs> so if I want to. No, but I, no, I haven't committed any crimes. I'm innocent, actually, so I'm good. So I haven't, okay. I haven't done any of that. But yeah, if you want to pick the trees up, pick them up. Pick them up and replant them in a, in, in a park. I don't really care what you do with them, but pick them up. Okay. So. You know, but yeah, they don't listen. They don't hear anything until you make a like an action, and you wake up and your trees are gone in your yard, it's like they're gone. <laughs> also, it's the most hilarious thing that like I just can't imagine looking at somebody's face. They come outside and they don't have no trees. <laughs> <laughs> it would just be so confused. Like I know I 
had a tree. Mm-hmm. Also, a pile mm-hmm. of dirt. I so I know it was a tree here. Mm-hmm. And like, who do you call to figure that out? Like, it's not like somebody a car. Like, do you call nine one one? Like, yes, someone stole five trees out of my yard. Like, who, right, who, they're gone. Well, they're you know, on. they were doing their hair. It wasn't full trees, but it was landscaping. <laughs> <laughs> they were uh, still I mean, in landscaping still- from, yeah, Upper Northwest and Bush. Like, like, I don't, and, what, yeah. Still in landscaping from, like, yards yeah. and stuff. Rocks, all that. <laughs> Dang. The whole thing, when you just come home, your shit just bare. It's just yeah. gone. Just and one lady said... <laughs> I, you know, I, I, they took the rocks. I put the rocks back, and then they took them again. I was like, "Oh shit, girl, just don't." <laughs> but I mean, at least she got it after that. Yeah. Put it back out one more time, because you, I mean, you think it's a fluke. Like, oh no, 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 it's gonna be fine. Right. It was mm-hmm. a fluke. The, rock, the rocks it. must have blown and washed away. What's up? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, all together blew away. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh no no no! But the trees was about to be was about to come up missing. So I, at this point, I'm good. It won't happen now. But man, a couple of years ago, if you would ask me, I'd have been like, "Yo, so them trees? There's a plan for those trees." And I don't want to hurt the trees. I don't want them to die. I just want them gone from his yard because he loves them so much. You know, it's a principle. Mm. You gotta act. Mm. You gotta act. I, they don't. They don't trees. understand words. So he was an earthy dude. He was. It was problematic, but anyway, you know that's, that was another day in time. But yeah, mm-hmm. so you gotta act. They don't understand when you use your words. You'd be trying, and you like you don't. <laughs> I told you what was wrong, so oh, oh, you don't hear me. Okay, I'm gonna have to act. I'm gonna have to act. Mm-hmm. Ray, this was so much fun. Yeah, I love y'all. Oh, yeah, I, we love you to death. Yeah. <laughs> I love y'all so much. I'm so glad. Thank you for the opportunity to be back on for the platform. I'm glad to see what you guys do. I'm glad that you guys are black in wine and black in spirits. And, you know, just, you know, because it's important for us to show up, right? And I, I'm, I'm a believer in that no matter where we are and what we're trying to do, uh, you know, I, it's important to see us in every space that we can possibly be in. So thank you for even you know, persisting. And I mean, you know, Sarita, you've been supporting like the stepsisters and, you know, Tanisha and me and Eva and Shy for years. I mean, we started what, 2011, 2012, Tanisha? Mm-hmm. And you've been, you've been rocking with us a long time. So I really just want to say thank you for that because you didn't have to rock with us. But y'all listen, these sisters threw an event years ago when Tanisha was here. Tanisha, what was that? Was it 2017, 2018? Oh, God. Um, I, I can't remember. It was, 2018. was it 2017? It was I can't remember. 17. It was 17. I can't yeah, remember. It was 17. Yeah. It was right after Man, the y'all, that thing, I saw more people come together on that wine bar on 8th Street, and it's woman owned and it's yeah. good. And they just did a really nice event. I, I was, I would, I remember talking to Sarita and even Tanisha that night and just saying, like, yo, you guys have it. You got that thing. And Tanisha, I mean, I may pronounce it wrong, but the je ne sais quoi that you guys have, right? <laughs> je ne sais quoi, you know? So you guys have that thing that is important and it's it's needed and it's needed in your space and it's needed in every space because I hate to say it, but other than like, what, maybe music and sports, all the other arts and foods and things that we love, there's not enough of us there. So I'm so glad that you guys have persisted and you've persisted in doing what you're doing and that you guys are providing that platform for many of us and you have such a range to talk to people. So thank you. I love y'all. And then I'm glad you guys had me on tonight. So God, you're such a fucking writer. Oh, I mean what a closeout. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Hey, hey. Damn it. <laughs> Thank hey. you so much. Oh, before you go, tell, tell everybody where they can follow you. They can follow me at Vermilion Pearl and B R M I L L I O N. I think that's it because I'm a little drunk. Um, at you know on Instagram and Twitter, and then of course Untitled 1975 is the blog, and you can also purchase books there. Uh, they are almost sold out, but that's a good thing. So next order is coming up, but. I just want to say thank you guys for everything and thank you for having me on tonight and 
you know, hopefully at some point when coronavirus is gone and we're all together, we can have another event. I, I hope oh. that I, you know, just make yeah. sure I'm that, here. Yes. 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 Of course. Yeah. Cheers, Ray. Holiday. Bye. Ray, it's a pleasure as usual. Yes. Thank you. We have to have more after dark segments with you. Yes. Hey, I'm... Yes. Anytime you guys want me on, I'm I am open and available. So I will always I will always be available for y'all. Oh, oh excellent. I'm gonna try to keep it together. No, all right, right, right. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Tanisha, yeah. thank you because you're in Paris and it is what six hours ahead, so it's about two a.m. there. Three a.m. All Thanks for tuning in, guys. We hope you enjoyed this After Dark episode. Don't forget to follow all of us on Instagram. Myself, Find Me Up, Glennis Vino Noir, Girl Meets Glass, Tanisha, Leslie Vino 301, and our special guest, Ray Mathis at Vermilion Pearl. So, and follow the Swirl Speed Podcast on Instagram as well. Like, subscribe. We love comments. Rate us on iTunes. And we hope everybody stays safe. Cheers. Cheers.